In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Sir Pokedrock in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up any web browser. So I'm using Google Chrome for this video and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and look up MCPEDL just like so. Then go ahead and just press on enter and go to the official MCPEDL.com website. All right, once you guys are in the website, go to the three bars and select on mods just like so. And then look for the Pokedrock add-on. You guys could also use the search bar as well in order to find it. Okay, so I just selected on most popular by month and then Pokey Drock is going to be right over here. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on it just like so. Then all you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down until you see the download links. So yep, it is right over here. All right, then you just want to go ahead and select on it just like so. And then go ahead and press I'm not a robot and then just wait a couple seconds. Go ahead and press on get downloads and then go ahead and download all of these right over here if you want the full experience. So let's go ahead and just download all three of these. And afterwards, it will say downloads complete. And the next thing you want to do is if you're on an Android device, go ahead and open up the Google Play Store just like so because we're going to be downloading a file managing application in order to actually load these add-ons into our game. Now, if you're on iOS, then you are good to go. You could use the built-in file managing software. The process is going to be the exact same thing. However, of course, the UI and the buttons are going to look slightly different. Anyways, once you're here in the Google Play Store, please go ahead and select on the search bar and look up File Manager just like so. Make sure you install this app right over here called File Manager Plus. This one is really easy to use. It is completely free to install. Make sure that it has the same icon as mine as well because there's multiple applications called File Manager. Anyways, once you install it, go ahead and press on open just like so. Then you're going to see a bunch of options that look like this. But do not be overwhelmed. All you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on downloads right over here. And then it is going to show you all of your downloaded files on your system. And then go ahead and scroll down until you see the SERP Pokey Drock add-on, which is right over here. So remember, we downloaded three different files. We downloaded all three of them, which are right over here. And what's great about the Pokedrock is that they actually make it incredibly easy. We don't have to unzip anything or anything like that. So what you would need to do is you would need to go ahead and just select on it. Press on these three dots that says more. Press on open with. Then go ahead and scroll down until you see Minecraft. You should see Minecraft right over here. Then go ahead and press on just once or always. Then it is going to open up Minecraft. And now it is going to load in the add-on to your actual game. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and do it one by one. So we just did one part. And then let's go ahead and get the other file, which is right over here, the 3D version. So long press, three dots, open with minecraft just once and then there you go it is now going to load into your game and let's go ahead and just do that process one more time for the last file which is right over here long press on it press on these three dots this is more open with select the minecraft select on just once or always they will both get the job done and if we did everything correctly it will now say imported successfully now let's go ahead and actually activate this into our minecraft world to do that go ahead and press on play just like so press on create new world create new world one more time you can go ahead and set your game to either survival or creative. I'm just going to be doing it for creative. Give your world a name right over here. And now here's where things get really important. You want to go to the left menu and scroll down until you see experiments. Then go ahead and select on it and turn all of these options on. All right. And once you're done with that, go ahead and select on behavior packs right over here in the left menu. So you want to scroll down until you see SERP Pokey Drug, which is right over here. Go ahead and press on activate and just double check that it is activated. And you want to do the same thing for resource packs. So you will notice that underneath resource packs, Pokey Drock is also activated as well. And there's also other text packs that you can include as well. So let's go ahead and keep on scrolling down more. So yeah, we have the anime cries and we also have the 3D version. So let's go ahead and just activate all of them over here. So we just activated those two. And then we'll have something that looks like this. So we will have three resource packs right over here, but we'll only have one behavior pack. And you will notice next to the file name, it will say B to indicate that it's for the behavior pack. And over here, it says R to indicate that it's for the resource pack. Anyways, once you're done with that, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on create just like so. Then go ahead and press on create anyways. All right, guys. So here we are in our game. And as you're able to tell, it already is working. We have Professor Birch right over here. And bam, from here, you guys can go ahead and get started. And we're able to see all of the different Pokemon over here. Yo, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. So guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we're really trying to reach 400,000 subscribers. See you later, French fries.